Welcome to my wife's sewing room. Uh, in our house up in Maine, she has this big cloth piece. I don't know how to explain it except that it's sticky and cloth sticks to it and she lays out her quilts on a wall. She wants to be able to put that piece on this wall and take it down. So what I propose doing is getting a steel rod like a piece of conduit and running it across and having her sew loops on her piece of big material that's going to hang down and then she can hang that up and when she's through she can take it down roll it out up and stick it maybe up in here behind Burt Reynolds by the way the, those of y'all that don't know this is uh, Burt Reynolds drawers this came out of the home that Burt Reynolds grew up in it was sold in an auction of his old home um, there's no reason to believe that this wasn't actually Burt Reynolds drawers and I do have paperwork saying that it came from that home and from that auction. That's beside the point of my project today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. The, the thing that she needs is 72 inches. I don't have a lot more room than that, but I'm going to cut about 74 inches off my pipe. I'm going to put screws in each side and have it where she can sit that up. And the screws will sit at an angle so it will sit firmly against the wall. And then she can attach her hanging quilt project thing to that after that i'm going to build some shelves for her and i'm going to make shelf brackets similar to these shelf brackets which i made out of uh, some iron that i have out here so i'll get to work on that so 72 inches is how long her curtain is, I'll make this 74, it'll give me an inch on either side to hang this on. By the way, the studs behind this that these screws are going to go into are two inches wide and at their furthest point apart they are 74 inches. That's why I'm making this pipe that long. I could make it longer and have a little to hang over, but it's not necessary to have any hanging over. The hardest part for me right now is hooking this onto the end. There we go. Uh, this is my little Ryobi. No, this is a DeWalt grinder. I'll put a link to where you can buy one of these uh, down below. Came from Amazon. I use the heck out of these things. I'm going to take the grinder and also take off these sharp edges so that Honey Babe won't cut herself handling this. Might work that with a piece of sandpaper also. That ain't too pretty good. I will double check my links here. Good. Now I'm going to go put the screws in the wall that this will hang on. And for that I'll be using my little uh, screwdriver. Screwdriver gun. Oh, the joy. Next thing I'm going to do is go back here and I'm going to mark and put in my screws. Uh, probably help if I had my screwdriver gun, which I don't. <laughs> Uh, I did walk around there and had it in my hands and I walked out here without it in my hands so I'll go get it y'all wait for me I think that'll do ran into a couple of things here there's actually not a stud above this the way this garage was built keep in mind um, the garage was built before I went to put the siding on it so this is the highest point that I could get to here I don't know if that makes any sense without you seeing the studs and we just have to let it go with that uh, but it's high enough I believe that'll be fine and 
so I'm gonna call that good. And I'll get to work on making the uh, the anchor uh, brackets for the other shells that Honey Baby wanted me to okay. make. So this is awesome, Honey Baby. Yeah. So that that's that stuff up there, you just stick that yep. to it. They just stick and it, on that. And it sticks on there. Yep. And that way you can lay the quilt out. Yep. Mm, I see that. So each one of those is a separate block. Yep. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, this seven. Eight across. And it's gonna, that quilt is going to be eight across. Yeah. By ten down. I might not be able to get the ten rows down. But by being able to do that, you can see your quilt. Exactly. And rearrange yeah. it and see what works and what doesn't work. And there's a lot of rearranging when you make a quilt. And go, oh, wait a minute. No, that doesn't go. That's too close. Yeah. <laughs> is that going to be long enough down to the floor? It's, it's, it's. My one at home isn't long enough sometimes. Oh, I, got so you. I was thinking about it, I could probably figure out a way to raise that up no, a bit more if fine. I needed to. But then you wouldn't be able to reach it. <laughs> Oh, I have to stand on a chair in one of my yeah. sewing room. But Sweet. It's, it's perfect. It's it just perfect. fun. Awesome. Yes, it awesome. is. Awesome. Yeah. I'm not showing, I'm not showing your, uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I don't, I'm not letting everybody know that you're actually naked. So <laughs> <it's>, <laughs> I'm just so excited about everything. I'm not even dressed. <laughs> awesome. That is awesome. It's well, perfect. Well, I was just about to go see if your uh, shelf things I made were dry. I painted them yesterday, so. That's perfect. Awesome. Look at that. I get to see it. Now, you, you I hadn't made any videos on this uh, pegboard, but that's yeah. that's something that the other day, Honey Babe said she wanted a pegboard, so she went off to Home Depot and yep. bought that, brought it home. We slammed her on the wall there. And yep. Now she's got a pegboard. Yeah. Woo -wee. Things are just hopping around here. Yeah, I got a great sewing space. <laughs> yeah. Workout room. Yeah.